I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios here at AWS reInvent 2024. Joined now by Charles Chu. You are the IT and Developer Solutions General Manager for CyberArk. Let's start off by giving us a little bit of an overview for maybe those that are not familiar with CyberArk. Sure, CyberArk is the leader in identity security, um, have been for about 20 years or so. That's amazing, and the reason I asked that question is because my follow-up question is, what is cloud identity security? Cloud identity security is securing the people who work in the cloud. Um, and it's important because some of the highest profile breaches over the last few years, the MGM, the Okta, uh, Microsoft, the attack vector has been through the human. So a low level developer, DevOps person, support person, um, and not actually through what most people think, which is actually through the applications and microservices. So how do you begin to tackle that problem? Because uh, you, know, the, you are the weakest link, as they say. If cloud identity security is so big of an issue, A, why are we not talking about it more, and B, what do you do to start to chip away with that to maybe educate people to improve identity solutions? Walk us through that. Well, one of the biggest friction points has been that traditional solutions are pretty heavy handed and cause a lot of friction. And so the people who work in the cloud, de developers especially, can be a pretty opinionated group. Um, and then from a business perspective, the whole reason or people have moved to the cloud is for some combination of increased velocity or cost savings. So you don't really want to implement something that slows down your velocity. So that's why a lot of companies haven't done much about it. Do we think that there's the perception that, oh, our apps are on the cloud now, we're not vulnerable to human intrusion or to identity theft like we were before? Yeah, I, I think that's a big part of it. Um, and so that's why we've implemented this thing called zero standing privilege. Okay. Um, so, sorry for the geeky Go name. for it. Um, but the concept essentially is, uh, we're here at AWS reInvent. What we do is we go in and we go into AWS Identity or IAM and completely remove all the permissions from every group, every user. Okay. So that's the thing that would have stopped the types of attacks. So in plain language, you steal my password, you log into AWS, and AWS thinks you have no permissions to do anything. Got it. Now, is that a matter of rebuilding those permissions, or is this a safety mechanism that says, if your account is compromised, you can access nothing? Yeah, so great question. So um, it's proactive, so what we do is we allow you, because we're creating those permissions on the fly mm. in every single session and deleting them when the session is over, it allows the flexibility so that if you're a DevOps engineer and you have legitimate reasons to move across 20 different accounts, AWS accounts, we can give you permissions to work on one through five and then next, you know, this afternoon, five through six, that sort of thing but then when you're not legitimately working on those accounts, totally shut you off. Take us back to CyberArk's solution to this. Walk me through how you're helping solve this problem. Because we have this technology that allows you to dynamically provision access and shut it off and turn it back on, um, from a developer and user perspective, it's invisible because AWS now thinks, hey, this dude is allowed to have these permissions, and so for them, they can grab their CLI token, you know, do their work, and it's completely transparent. And we like to say that it's the best kind of security for developers because it's invisible. You said it's invisible, but is there zero velocity? Does it slow them down? Is it another step? Does it inconvenience the developers in any way? No, and, and I think that's really the trick. Instead of coming in in the morning and logging in directly to the AWS console, they just come to the CyberArk identity portal, log in there, one click, they're in. And then the identity portal decides which of those five uh, instances you need to have access to at any given moment. That's right, it can be pre-assigned or if you have multiple roles across multiple accounts, then you can just pick the one that's appropriate 
we log you in, give you your CLI token, and you're off and running and don't see us again. Have you heard from developers? We're here at AWS reInvent, obviously. Lots of engineers, lots of developers here, solutions architects. Any feedback from the customers of maybe either things to improve or perhaps uh, what they really like about CyberArk Solution here? Yeah, great question. I, I, I think the most common reaction that we get is, what? whoa, what? like, you're gonna like, what are you gonna do? Like, are, how are you gonna slow me down? Yeah. You know, because developers don't typically love constraints on them. Yeah. Um, and then the second reaction we get is, you know, sort of like this grudging, like, yeah, you know, this isn't so bad. We could live with this. And then eventually they turn around and they say, fantastic. But I will say that nobody wants to get that 1 a.m. phone call that the systems have been attacked. So maybe if they have this implemented, uh, they don't have to worry about things like that. If you're watching this video and someone is thinking, how do I get started? What are the next steps? What should they know? Um, easy answer is we have a self-serve free trial. Okay. Um, go to cyberarc.com. Look for Secure Cloud Access and click on the button and sign up for the free trial. Charles, I love coming to these conferences and learning about technologies that are solving problems that really uh, everyone should be thinking more about. So I wish all the best to you and your team. Sounds like a great development, great product, and a great uh, attempt to attack some of these, these situations that are arising. Anything you want to add? Yeah, I think the, the, the one thing that I would add is kick the tires yourself. And, and if you are in DevSecOps, give it to your developers and prove it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Don't take anyone's word for it. Try it out for yourself. That is Charles Chu, the GM IT and Developer Solutions for CyberArk. I'm Brian Westbrook, GeekWire Studios. Thanks for watching.